everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for tonight's main event. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the wall. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Remember what we talked about? All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. If you made a checklist of advantages and disadvantage, obviously you'd want the advantage of hand speed. But you've trained many a guy who's been on the other side where his opponents had the better hand speed. What have you told him? Well, I tell him, make it a muddy track. You know, Secretariat must be the fastest horse in the world, but on a muddy track, things change a little bit. Step out of range. Don't allow the kind of landscape, the kind of track that will suit speed. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. <laughs> Parries that punch away. Let it go! Last 10 seconds of this first round. Morgan's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In this case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. And he just holds on there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned, and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. Halfway through this round here. Placed hook there. Morgan's got a way of just getting away from that punch. 
Solid left hand to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Morgan's got that look. He's got that look like, hey, I know exactly why I had success in that last round. He was able to stun his man, Teddy. Yeah, you can see that confidence, that body language. Now it's up to an adjustment from his opponent. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from you. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. <laughs> Missed that uppercut. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep it going. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Unable to score with the hook. Morgan's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. That hook was well off the mark. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Last 10 seconds. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Okay, listen. I wanna see that straight right there. Throw a jab, then straight down the middle. You got it. Morgan's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Big shot. The right came clean. Clinch, clinch. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through round number four. Punch! Punch! Good job, buddy. Little head hunting with the left. Finish with a hook! Boom, 
left hand comes home. Let's go. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe to toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some move. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world's going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. Tighten up your... It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Now hugging on the inside. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Morgan. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Morgan's defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. He missed with that headshot. Halfway into round number five here. Uppercut. Good job! Pace yourself! Oh, and he got oh, caught right God. there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. He Let's took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all time classic. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count him. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Throw in volume. Morgan's bounce is back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Keep well, that's moving. what being Keep in great moving. shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Pace yourself. Nice block by Morgan. Morgan's putting on a show here. Defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. <laughs> Tried the hook, didn't get it. Good work! Halfway through round six. I shake it off. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Relax, relax. Yeah. 
committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Punch! Punch! Work the body, kid! Body shot! Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Able to cover up that gut. Listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches, not to keep them away. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Good. Oh, good. Nice work. Listen. I want, you, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Body. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Gets rid of that body shot. He just missed that shot up top. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Able to show you his blocking ability. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He scored well after being hit himself. At the halfway point of round seven. Blocks the headshot. Right to the body. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Not much action as he just ties up. Keep moving, keep moving. Hook, hook. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. You're not focusing. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Nice work, the left hand to the head. You let this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You got to. All right, you look great. Just don't get crazy in there. We Box it. smart for me. Alright. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. This is anybody's fight. Here we are, the start of round number eight. Teddy, you've got him up slightly, but I don't know. I'm watching this fight, and I think at any moment it could turn. Yeah, this is like in the old days, you know, the corner might break off one of those ammonia capsules, one of those smell salts, you know, in the nose of a guy. Pick him up a little bit, bring him down the home stretch. Hey, you can't use those anymore, but you can use some stern, strong words. Get going. Come on, pick it up a little bit. Don't sleep now. Morgan's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Gotta try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Keep working the body. You're not focusing.
Morgan's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Good flush shot upstairs. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. And you got this. Just there you go. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. How about that left hand? Morgan's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination hook, landing. Hook. You got this one. The body, Very nice defensive guard there. Pace yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Able to dismiss that body shot. Not able to land the head shot. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Relax. Relax. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. 90 seconds into the ninth round. There you go. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He is stunned, but somehow has the wherewithal to hang on. Double up on your punches. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Give it a punch. Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good, solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. One more round, okay? This is it. One more round and that's it. Go for the head this round, okay? Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab... Final round has arrived. Who wants it more? Morgan's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Looking good. Uppercut. A headshot blocked. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the him. trainer's nice. credit. Of course, let's give his background of damages credit, head. but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Affected Give by that. Out. Now put him away. <laughs> you got this one. Oh. 
final minute of the final round. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Move your head. That's what I want to see. Time by Morgan. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. <laughs> Digging in with a left to the gut. Very, very close fight. But the envelope, please, will bring all the drama. Which way will the judges see this? This is where they earn their money to be able to pick the right guy for tonight. He's your winner. One judge saw it even, the other two in his favor. A majority decision. Very close. Either way you saw it, majority, split, whatever. Close, good, solid fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.